West Michigan man is nearing the finish of what seems impossible, running 160 miles across the state in just four days. Kent County Reserve Deputy Matt Garbarino ran through Grand Rapids today on his way to the finish at the Ottawa County Sheriff's Office. He's in the final stretch right now. 24 Hour News 8 Zach Horner has been following him throughout the day. Zach? Well, it's the final stretch of a run that began in Pontiac, Michigan, ending here today. It will be ending here at the Protector Monument at the Ottawa County Sheriff's Department. 160 miles total, and with every step, remembering every officer that died in the line of duty. Right here, this is what it's about. When they see me doing this, it about uh, it kind of just says, hey, someone remembers. And that, that means everything to me. With his flag in hand, Matt Garbarino began the day on the east side of the city. The, the support from all the law enforcement agencies from Oakland County all the way through Lansing to here is just, it's been uh, overwhelming. I'm physically doing this run and it's its own personal challenge, but at the end of the day, it's not about me. Uh, it's about this flag right here. It's about these people in uniform out here that are supporting me. It's about these families that are here that have lost somebody. You guys are so awesome. Making his way through the busy city streets. Been on a 9,000 calorie a day diet, so I think I'm burning through every bit of it right now. Staying strong and keeping the pace. 25 to go. To remember those officers lost and to support the families, the survivors. The families, that, that this is really what it's all about, following uh, law enforcement. And uh, I, I've had so many families come out and talk to me and, and meet with me. And uh, boy, you really, get, you really get teared up when you hear their stories. The stories of loss fuel for every stride. As a reserve officer himself, this run has a special meaning. Everybody driving by, honking and, and, and waving and talking and cheering. Um, you know, cell phones out their windows. It's been unbelievable support. It's, uh, it, really, uh, it really makes me feel good that there's that much positive support for law enforcement. After a short stop to refuel, Matt made his way down Leonard and out of the city. People cheering him on and showing support for the men and women in blue who each day risk their lives so that we can live ours. A fitting end here at Protector's Monument, honoring those officers whose watch ended too soon. Hey, they don't know how that day is going to end. An emotional journey for Matt as well as some of the survivors. And coming up at 6, you'll hear from some of those survivors and talk about how that run memorizes or keeps the memory alive of those loved ones who were lost in the line of duty. Live on West Olive, I'm Zach Horner, 24-Hour News 8.